In today's technical corner, we're going to be talking about two new ranges from ITC, thread milling and micro end mills. Where do you want to start? Uh, thread milling, really, Joe. Um, we, we've done thread mills for quite a while, um, but they've been a factored product mainly from the Whittier stable. Um, but what we've actually done is taken the thread mill program, did lots of different testing, improved the geometries, um, and on our latest range of machines, we've now got the capability of grinding the thread systems. <laughs> so we've now launched um, a complete range of thread mill products available in a separate thread milling catalog. All this information is actually in the back of our new issue 13 catalog. Um, but it's just worth drawing attention to the fact that there's now an extended range, tools with more through coolant options, micro <laughs> thread milling as well. You tend to find that most people who are thread milling are in production environments. Sure small diameter holes especially or large mm -hmm. diameter holes where taps don't offer the best solution. These look different to most thread mills. You've got quite a large flute and quite a narrow land. Is, is there a reason for that? Um, yeah, we, we basically took um, an original thread mill geometry and form, took it out and tested it and used that as our benchmark and then working with several OEM companies to go and test on different machines in different environments we then developed some different helix angles, different relief angles actually on the tools and produced what is a very high performance thread mill. Importantly, um, because we're manufacturing them as well, we've actually reduced the cost of them. War's a winner. <laughs> and the through coolant, obviously if you've got a blind hole, it's, it's core function just to get the swarf out. Correct, yeah. I mean, it's obviously going to offer fluid at the cutting face um, and swarf evacuation in a blind hole. Um, so when you've measured these against other tools, how, yep. how, how have they fared? Um, quite importantly, because of the, the changed helix angles, etc., the cutting forces are reduced quite a lot. Um, we've seen 15 to 20% drop in power consumption from the machine. Now on a micro thread mill, you know, so what? It's not gonna make much difference to your machine, but mm. anywhere where you reduce cutting forces, you're reducing friction, you're reducing wear, and so the tool's gonna last longer. So reducing the power, um, consumption from the machine is a good indication that life is going to improve and we've sort of seen that similar sort of percentage life increase as well. Good. How, how about the range? Obviously you can always fall back on with you if you don't have something but is it purely metric at this stage? No, we do because we deal with a lot of aerospace industry especially we've got all the different thread forms that you might require and yes we've got the backup from the Whittier stable if required. Mm -hmm. And these obviously the micro end mills they look like they've got an aluminium geometry is that, is that right? So this is just a representation once again these are shown in our issue 13 catalogue. Um, at the back end of last year we made a considerable investment in micro machines so we've now got 33 CNC cutter grinding machines of which We've added micro machines now, which are dedicated mm -hmm. small geometry grinding machines. And presumably, I know there's a lot of infrastructure to, to actually grind these. You can grind them on other machines, but the, there are specialist machines for doing micro end mills, but in, you need different wheels, you need wheel balancers. It's a, it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, so you, you learn very quickly that once you buy a micro machine, you then need micro wheels, you need a <laughs> micro wheel balancer, you need a micro wheel dresser, you even need specialist inspection equipment to make sure that these geometries are correct. Typically on dedicated geometries in our catalogue, whether it be steel, um, cast irons or aluminiums, etc., the ranges that we offered traditionally, went down to three millimetre diameter. We're now able to produce down to one millimetre diameter as a standard item in our catalogue on the most popular ranges in the aluminium and the steel ranges, etc. Like you say, most people, when you phone up for a 1mm mill, mill, that's exactly what you get, a 1mm mill. mill. You can't stipulate, you know, for aluminium, for Correct. steels. So why have you gone, why have you actually gone specific geometries? Customer demand, really. Um, we've always responded to what customers are asking us for, what, what they're telling us their needs are. Um, we've bought in the equipment which will actually give us the capability of producing an end mill down to 0.2 millimetre diameter. Wow. So on the machine, a one millimetre diameter tool is sort of average. If you actually get one of these tools mm. and, and look at it under an eyeglass, the quality of the grind and the finish of these machines is absolutely mm. superb. I'll take your word for it, there might not be any flutes <laughs> in there. <laughs> I, I can barely see it. But yeah, and all these products are available in the new Issue 13 ITC catalogue? Issue 13 is out now. All these products are, are in there. Um, it's available online or by contacting us or speaking to 
your local representative. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Paul.